YouTube, this is your girl ST coming to you with a review on a makeup palette. This makeup palette that I'm reviewing is by Urban Decay and it's a travel size. Looks like this. It's great for those rush mornings, for quick getaways and last minute and fights. Um, it's easy to travel with. Um, this can fit in your purse, your bag, or whatever. This is the box it came in. This is the back of it. Products like this. But I like the back because it lists all the eyeshadows that are included in this palette. And they are Shakedown, Remix, Nameless, Minor Sin, Leech. The blushes are um, Overexposed, Temper, and Glint. And it also has the black eyeliner pencil, Zero. And Love Child is the name of the lip gloss. So um, this is how the inside of it looks. So five eyeshadows listed. It has a very nice size mirror. And the second layer, I'll just a little bit that back, has the blush and the highlight there. And also has a mirror there too for your convenience. So um, I purchased this at Macy's. It was $44 and it was well worth it. So um, if you guys are interested in seeing how I use this palette, which I've been wearing on my face right now, please stay tuned and we'll go from there. Here I am getting ready to use my Urban Decay palette. Yay, so fun. And I'm adding now to my eyelids um, a primer. This primer is by Smashbox and it is their photo finish lid primer. And I'm adding this as a base to both eyes, both eyelids. And I'm going to um, apply just a little bit to the lower eyelid as well and make sure that um, both is worked in very well so that um, the colors that I apply um, go in pretty evenly. So the color I chose in this palette to um, for this look is uh, a purple color. It, the name of it is Remix. So what I'm doing now is just applying that all over the eyelid. Again, working it in very well so that it's evenly applied. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of my um, eyelid. Work it in, make sure it's I'm kind of using a padded motion here just to make sure that it um, blends well and it sticks good to uh, my eyelid. And now I'm going for the next color in the palette. It's the darkest color. And that one is called Shakedown. And guess where that's going? Yep, in the crease of my eye and also on the outer V of my eyelid. So I'm trying to work that in pretty well so that it blends pretty nicely. And I'm doing the same to the opposite eye, working that um, color in to create the contrast and more depth in the eye. Now I'm going for the lightest color in this palette. And the name of that one is Bleach. So Bleach is going on my upper, I'm sorry, on my bra bone on both sides just to um, help uh, bring light to that area and to uh, shape up my eyebrows as well. So I um, added that to both sides. And here I'm going back into the darkest color in the palette again, and it's called Shakedown. And what I'm doing is I'm adding that to the lower lid so that um, it kind of creates an even look on both eyes. So I'm just um, adding just a little bit, and I'm using an um, uh, eyebrow pencil, I'm sorry, eyeliner pencil, not pencil, brush to um, complete that look. Then in the inner corner of my eye, I'm using the color, it's called here Minor Sin, and I'm putting that in the inner corner and also um, the one third part of my lower lash line. Now I'm going to use the Urban Decay's 24-7 um, eyeliner pencil in zero, and I'm trying to here align my upper lid. Sorry, um, I was kind of off the camera, didn't really pay attention, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I'm just trying to um, line my upper lid and also do like a tight lining on, on there as well. So I wanted to do both eyes the same way. And I'm um, trying to create like a wing look too, just a slight wing look, as you can see um, there. Not too much, but just a little bit. Tight lining on the other eye. Okay, and so on the lower lid, I want to um, line the inner portion of my eye just a just a tiny bit just to give um you know more you know make it stand out a little bit more and now I'm going to um fix up my eyebrows and I have this brush that I've been using for 
for a little while now that I um, had from a old mascara tube that um, became empty. So I added a little bit of the eyeliner pencil to my brows just to fill in some of the spares places. So I'm just brushing it in, make sure it's even. And here I'm just taking this cotton swab and trying to um, clean up any eyeshadow that may have fell to the side and make, and also making it more of an even um, slanted like look there. So I'm adding more of this color. Um, the lightest color is called bleach to my um, eyebrows, eyebrow bone, brow bone. Now I'm going to add mascara. This mascara is by Benefits called For Real. This mascara is for real. They're real. I'm sorry, it's called They're Real. This I really like this mascara. Um, they receive it as a sample at Sephora. So I'm adding it to my lower lash line and top lash line. And I'm trying to use like this back and forth motion to um, create a more voluminous look here. I'm doing the same on the bottom. And my eyes are pretty much complete now. So now moving on to the blush. The blush I chose to use in this palette is called Overexposed. So I'm just putting that on my cheekbones all the way up, blending it in really well on both sides. And then I did just add a little bit off camera of the temper blush to my, just, just the cheek parts of my face. And so now what I'm gonna do is use the bronzer. This one is by Laura Mercier. And the color is, um, Warm bronze, and it does has S SPF 15 in it, so I really love that. So I'm just trying to work it in really, really well, just to add more color to my face and to um, kind of contour, contour in a way. Now I'm adding the lip pencil. It's super saturated, and this is Love Child. It feels so amazing on the lips. It makes your lips really moisturized. I, I like that, and it has a nice shine to it, and it's not overbearing. I, actually, I think it looks pretty natural, so I do really like that lip lip balm. Now the last thing is going to be the highlighter and that to right above my lip and chin then the bridge of my nose, high cheek points of my high bone of my cheeks. Um, again creating more dimension. So I don't know what happened but yeah <laughs> the video footage got lost but these are some pictures so that I took after um, I completed the look so Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. God bless. And please don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Bye.